John, how are you? Sorry, uh, uh, the guy from Cron's here and he's interviewing Marcus, so... Uh, I don't want to take it, Mark. Okay. We're I'll done. call you back. Two more questions. Okay. 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 This, this interview may last two or three days. It's not just going to be one time. Oh. So, uh, let me turn the ringer off. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry about that because no, okay. that was really good flow you had going there, Marcus. So yeah, like... you were you were right on it, man. Yeah. Um. So just because we had a whole bunch of disturbance, I'm going to ask you again. Minus the puppy. Hello, <laughs> puppy. <laughs> Maybe I should step past again. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Let me turn my phone up. You know what happened. It'll yeah, 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 yeah. Mine's ring that like. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. will go in turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You put it on airplane mode. You just probably. Earlier with airplane mode. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you've missed a lot, so we're gonna we're gonna bring you up to speed pretty soon. There's something called an airplane mode where basically you turn your phone off and it doesn't do anything. Oh okay. All right. So um, so again, let's go backwards because we had a little bit of a so so tell me again. I just to make sure you're in focus here. I don't want you to be blurry on me. So, I came to your cat. I, I walked over, knocked on your door, told you I had something for you. Yeah. And what were you thinking? Well, I couldn't. I, I, really, I was just so surprised to see you again. Uh, I, I wasn't thinking anything. I had no idea that you had Carlos Santana with you in that truck, and and, and it just uh, it was a mind blowing situation. Uh, and then it brought me to tears actually. That mm -hmm. I was there or that Carlos was there? That, that, that when you told me you have a surprise for me and I looked up and I could see him in the truck, it, it, it brought tears to my eyes, really, and uh, just a, a, a heart throb. It was uh, a very heavy situation that I had been waiting for years and years and years to one day be able to communicate with Carlos again and be able to talk to him and, and hold him in my arms. That was one of the greatest moments of my life. Okay, now uh, something I left out of the story, because obviously where you live at is not the safest place in the world. Yeah. Carlos handed you an envelope. Yeah. What was in that envelope? It was a few hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. A few hundred dollars? Well, it was a few hundred dollars. Uh, I can't uh, just tell you exactly what it was. Okay. It was a wonderful surprise. What did you and do with the wonderful surprise? Well, I bought some some equipment and I helped my family out. How? Quite, well, I had uh, some funeral things that my two brothers I lost this year and I helped put names on their uh, head, head things and uh, just pay things that I had old people and stuff and bought clothes and fixed my cars and everything So, because I, I was informed that I might be moving away from there. So uh, I did it where it was necessary. Okay, fair enough. You know. Uh, now, you fixed your cars up, but you're missing one important thing that would be making you behaving badly if you were driving. What would that be? I got to get my license and stuff in order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when yeah. I first talked to you, a couple of days later when I came back to visit you, you said, uh, yeah, I got my car and let me drive and I'm running around the block. Yeah. And I said, did you get your driver's license yet? Yeah. And you said, well, no, I'm going to go get that. I'm like, well, you kind of have to go through the whole process. Yeah, I do. And I, I've been, I've made some steps. Okay. You know, some steps. And I got it, I found out I had to take the driving, because it's been years and years since I've been driving and, and, and not having a car. I've had a few taken away, you know, uh, the vehicles that I used to work and cut grass and carry my equipment and stuff like that. And uh, unfortunately, uh, making a left turn or whatever, I've had them taken away. So it was a loss, man, a loss. If anybody, if the world right now were to say, Carlos, or if the world right now were to say, Marcus, how do you feel at this particular moment, in this particular time of your life? How do you feel? What would you say to the world right now? I would say, I feel great. And I feel like, I have another opportunity to reach some of the goals that I've been trying to reach all my life. And another chance to do that, to me, is ultra supreme, as far as I'm concerned. And it makes me feel heavenly and blessed. You know, someone made a statement that, you know, God can give you wings, but you have to do the flapping. 
That's right. How do you plan on flapping those wings? Well, I'm going to do whatever I think is necessary and right to make me have this promotion uh, to reach the extent that a man can reach in life for, in, in whatever he puts his efforts into for his accomplishing something in life that will be accepted as a trophy and a victory in life. Fair enough. Yeah. Marcus, you can something? realize your potential. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the key thing, really. Yeah. Yep, that is. So what I'm going to do is, I got everything I want to do to talk to you. It's really, really precious. That's you right. know, and that do with you. Uh, and you really are blessed. You can come on out, man. Come on out. Hey, so, look good, man. <laughs> Them shoes. Woohoo! Yeah, you never me with these. These have been really close and you know, very instrumental in helping me get my act together. So, what's next, man? Well, Whatever comes and whatever we can uh, put together, I'm going to be you know, heart and soul into it, especially if it's uh, about making things happen that'll be... You're already making things happen. Yeah. You got people all over the world that's, talking about you right that's now. That's mind-blowing to me. Uh, the, the day before I met you, until now, I've been through a, tr a, a, a transition in, in my mind, in my heart and my soul, man, it makes it flutter sometimes because I'm so, so glad that it happened. Hey, man, yeah. I want to see you. I want to be right, like I was talking to. Um, I was talking to a foundation. I said I want to be on the front row when you're out there playing for the first time. Oh, you said that? Oh yeah, I want to be there watching. I'm like, and I, I would be glad to see you there. So. Oh, I'd be proud. I'd be like a, like a, like a dad or something. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> my nephew, matter of fact, bought me some drums. And, I heard. And thank you. Rehearsing, uh, you know, getting my chops back up. So, so what does that mean, chops? Because you know, I'm not in the music. Rhythm. Rhythm. How's your rhythm going? On the beat. How's it going? You know, well, if I brought you, a, if I brought you a congo, would you give me a little, a little something? I got some in the car. I got some. I got one right around the corner. Right. Okay. You got that congo, don't you? Yeah. Can we try that congo out? Sure. I'm gonna see how you. I'm gonna hear what you get the chops a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but think of a song you got in your head. Well. Let me see. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Carlos uh, and I. Uh, it's like a dream come true to you, man. It's like a dream come true, man. It's like waking up from from being in a coma. That's strong. Yeah, that's what it is. I was, I was in a zone, man. That, like I said, it's like every day I hear my music somewhere on some channel or passing elevators. And everything else, and you just—it's beat up. It's not That's tuned. All right. you don't this is this is for Carlos. This is a song that he was written when he when he was going emo. Say you guy. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that again. There's a song that me and Carlos was working on years ago uh, called Primitive, and he remembered it. And when he came out in the truck, he said, "Emo say you guy." And that was mind-blowing within itself to me because I hadn't heard that lyric uh, in, what, over 40 years? <laughs> yeah. Let's hear yeah. it.
That's uh, actually, I've got to say, there's uh, some things just on your name and name and fame, right? Yeah. Um, for example, now I've heard you play, and I know you're going to get sharper and tighter. Oh yeah, you will. Yeah, no, 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 I know that. But um, you got a lot of options. For example, um, this that weren't in the business beforehand. One of them is doing loops for people. People buy packages of loops for samples for hip hop and dance records. Yeah. And they have musicians do loop packages. So you could actually create just a whole bunch of little riffs, yeah. you know, just a little, you know, eight bar riffs. It's about here, and they can be looped and other people can use them in their things and you get paid. <laughs> That hey, sounds good yeah, to me. Yeah, you get paid for 10 seconds of drum, rather. Yeah, but, hook me up. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of options like that that just didn't exist in the music business yeah, beforehand. No. So. Yeah, I never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Lupin, he knows all about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but, loop, but loop packages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. My yeah. nephew, Jake, you know, there's all kind of stuff, you know. It's my uncle, I'm so proud of him. It's my mother's brother. <laughs> right it's my dude. <laughs> yeah.